Hey guys, how's it going? I uh, hope you guys had a good weekend. Uh, I got 24 January. It's going to be a late uh, 2022. It's going to be a late podcast here. Uh, we don't have a lot going on here in Las Vegas. And uh, there's going to be some videos I'm going to work on here this week. I'm going to get out and do some videos at the appropriate time. But I have to uh, clear this. COVID protocol, so early next week, I will get out there and do some videos about uh, like a deli and some projects that um, is going to resume that will be uh, finished in the next couple of years, and I'm going to do this that away from home. I'm at home now, and this is where I need to be. And uh, so let's get into Nate Hobbs, okay? I've already, you know, digressed somewhat. Uh, this video is about Nate Hobbs, a cornerback for the Raiders, okay? Um, now, he was caught up a couple of weeks ago after that great win uh, from the Colts for a DUI because he got caught sleeping in his, in his car vehicle in a parking lot. I think he was at a party and, you know, uh, he was caught. And I did a video on that before here two weeks ago. He was released on $1,500 bond. Well, two days ago, he was caught again, okay? This young man uh, was pulled over on the interstate. That's Interstate 15 here in the Las Vegas area going 110 miles an hour in his uh, sports car. Okay, um, and he was cleared for that. Actually, he did not get not get arrested, but he was cited. Okay, uh, from looking at some of the other podcasters of uh, uh, Raiders Nation reports, okay, there's a lot of people have contacted the organization and called for Nate Hobbs, you know, to be released after that. I guess he's disappointed a lot of people. <clears throat> and Nate Hobbs is a fifth round draft pick, okay? I think that he's gradually working his way up to, you know, set himself up to maybe get an extension, but this is this does not help. Now, a little bit about Nate Hobbs. He's 22 years old out of Louisville, Kentucky. He was a three-star recruit out of high school, and I guess he was deemed as a three-star recruit out of college with the University of Illinois, okay? Um, he was picked 167 uh, in the fifth round in the 2021 NFL Draft for the Las Vegas Raiders, and he did a fairly decent job, but I believe probably by the end of this second year, okay, like he's going on to the second year, so he's barely finished his rookie season. You know, I think that he probably would improve enough to where that they may look at, you know, giving him, you know, like some type of extension by the time his rookie contract is over. But doing stuff like this does not help. Okay. Now, a few other things I want to talk about. Here in Nevada, you know, this is how seriously people need to take reckless driving okay uh you can be fined and you lose eight points okay you get an eight point demerit from your driving record okay so i think it's like 12 points you can get your license suspended you get a potential you can get a potential six months in jail all right depending on on the seriousness of a, of offense your first offense okay uh, and, and fine penalties is a $200, $250 to $1,000 fine for first event, uh, first offense. And then the second offense could be $1,000 to $1,500. Okay. And yeah, you know, he can afford the money, but the kind of average person, I know me, I just can't afford to be given that money out or whatever. You know, I have things I have to do with my money. And I don't know, you know, I just, but I, I don't like giving my money out 
like that for doing something that's not smart. And I hope if he get, does get to stay that somebody is able to talk to him and realize that what he has at stake, okay? And I'm pretty sure he's on the hot seat after what's going on right now. And I think he doesn't realize with this new CBA contract, okay, this agreement, okay, that your term, if you get cut for misconduct, they can terminate and void your contract, okay? Contracts are not guaranteed anymore, not necessarily. And these this guaranteed money, they had there's clauses where you have to play a certain uh, amount of games to get this this money. They want you there for a while, okay? So, um, you know why I got you here? There's a lot of you know these players and so forth. There's one in Cleveland, a guy he was like a linebacker that got in trouble down there in Florida. At the end of the season, it seems like these guys, I don't know, they have some type of this. Uh, anxiety disorder maybe because they're not out there playing football maybe they make the playoffs then i think that they take a lot of their frustration off the field okay it's a lot of home issues or marital issues start unraveling and so forth and i think they need to be some type of decompression i know when i was in the military when we got back from war they did some decompressionary classes like a week to two weeks Okay, to make sure that, you know, everybody's at bay. And the reason why, because they've had incidents when guys would come back from deployments, you know, and do things like, you know, murder their wives or, you know, other people or whatever, okay, on base. And I hate the, the, the sound like that, so graphic. I know we have children listening here, but I just think that there should be some programs like that, okay, provided so it won't be incidents like this. But yeah, this is uh, some hot and brewing news, all right? It makes the organization look bad on, on top of that, okay? Where they want to try to make a, uh, the Raiders want to try to make a run for another, you know, playoff run and, and beyond that, okay? Maybe you have a chance to play in the AFC Championship in 2022, okay? And we'll talk more about that on a different video here. I don't want to hold up more, no, uh, more of your time, okay? I hope you, uh, find, if you find this video interesting, subscribe and check out some of the other videos. Cash app dollar sign Winston Spivey if you want to donate. All right, thanks for listening, yeah.